Good afternoon, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our midday meditation. Tyler, if you will, read us Mark 10, verses 17 through 31. As he was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Said to him, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words, but Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said, yeah, astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of good, the good news, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age, houses, brothers and sisters, mothers and children, and fields with persecutions, and in the age to come, or age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. All right. So um, if you break this apart in incorrectly you miss what jesus is saying um many people have taken what jesus told the rich young man and uh have used it to say that the christian life is supposed to be one of poverty um, that's obviously a lie because the young man leaves with grief in his heart because he had many possessions okay and then Jesus says, how hard is it for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom? And then Jesus goes on and he qualifies it. He tells them what? How hard it is for those who uh, trust in their riches is, is what we uh, pick up from, from uh, the other gospels. The issue is, in what do you have faith? And telling the young man, go sell what you have, give to the poor, and come follow me. You'll have treasure in heaven. He wasn't telling the guy that he was going to take a vow of poverty. Oh, yes. No, because the apostles say, well, man, how, how, how can anybody be saved then? Jesus said, with man, it's not possible. But with God, all things are possible. And then Peter says to him, look, we've left our homes, we've, we've left everything, we've followed you. And listen to what Jesus says, of a truth I tell you, there's no one who's left house or brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, or fields. So agriculture and residential commercial real estate development, as well as kinfolk. You can have, if you have a hundred houses, in the world when you come to jesus and you sell your houses and you give to the poor do you understand that that what jesus was going to have this young man do he was having him invest in the kingdom of god because do you remember what the proverb says about the poor tyler mm -hmm. uh, it's all right i'm not going to put you on the spot too long on that remember proverb said whoever gives to the poor lends to the lord and he the lord will repay him who gives to the poor that's what the proverb tells us and so jesus is, is trying to get this guy to invest in kingdom principles he's invested in material things and he trusts in his own wealth jesus is saying you need to go on ahead and invest in the kingdom and then jesus turns right around and he and the young man left he didn't listen to the rest of what jesus said how many times? Because you leave too soon. You thought you knew what the message was. But if you'd have stayed another five minutes, you would have understood where the speaker was going. Or maybe the preacher said something in a sermon you didn't like, so you decided to check out. And everybody else who was there that day, they're like, no, that ain't what he said. 
Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Because if you'd asked this guy, he'd have said, everyone who wants to come to Jesus has to sell everything and give it away. No, that's, that's a total lie. Because he tells Peter what? You'll have plenty of houses if you follow me. You'll have plenty of land if you follow me. And when you lose your worldly family, you'll pick up a different family that lasts you for eternity. The issue was, where was his trust? Where was his faith? And so I'll give you that passage. You have anything else you want to add? No, sir. All right. With that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. Lord willing, we'll see you back tonight.